I've done a video talking about my grandpa's, so I guess it's time to talk about my grandma's. So, uh, September, my last living grandma passed away. Um, I think that's when it was. I'm, I'm horrible at time, but so we have my two grandmas, my dad's mom. We called her nanny, and then my mom's mom was Grandma Zelma. Um, the bad part about like most of my family and all that is I really don't really know them. And I kind of always just, to me, it always kind of seems like I was just never a thought for it for most of anybody because I never really got in trouble. I was good in school, things like that. I, I didn't really have any issues, so I just kind of fell under the radar. But if you look at my dad's mom, she died about, I think, about two years ago. Um, like one of the things that I always remember is when we were younger she took care of us a lot and we would stay over there all the time and she always had a candy drawer and things like that but uh, one of the big things I remember is she would always ask if you wanted popcorn and if you said yes she had this at the time uh, previously she had <clears throat> worked at a nursing home she had this huge metal bowl that was used for making salads or something. And so when she would make popcorn, she would fill this whole gigantic bowl up with popcorn. Enough for about at least three or four people to eat off of. And so um, one of the crazy things is that I can't remember if I told the story when I was talking about my grandpa's um, she told me about my grandpa being a Marine like 10 years after I was in the Army. Um, I think I talked about that where I called to talk to her and I was, because I was talking to my dad at the time. And uh, I told her that I was going to Korea and then she's like, oh, you know, your grandpa Tiny was in Korea. And that just threw me all off because I'd never heard any of that. And then, uh, she talked about how they had lost his Purple Heart that he got. And so we did a reunion a few years later and I actually took her my Purple Heart that I got from Iraq. And she was just, she was tickled with that to, to have another one. I mean, it wasn't my grandpa's, but the gesture alone was, I think a little too much for her at the time. And I'm not even sure what happened with that. It's probably still at their house somewhere. Um, but uh, I think it was right before Thanksgiving, about two years ago, she passed away. And uh, the crazy part about it is <clears throat> she was at my aunt's in uh, California visiting. And uh, she wasn't feeling good and went to the hospital. Well, she, she passed away. And like I said, it was right, right around Thanksgiving time. And so I got the call to say, you know, I'd known that she was in the hospital and wasn't doing too good. So uh, then they said she had passed away and they arranged a funeral. Uh, the crazy thing is, is, you know, it was a few days later. I can't remember exactly how long that time period was, but I got there like a day or two before the, the funeral to, to Southern Illinois and uh, was talking with my uncle and they're like, yeah, well, she hasn't made it back from California yet. And so they had been in contact with the, the hospital in California and the transport for her back to, to Southern Illinois. Well, someone had didn't sign a piece of paper or something. And so we did her funeral without her there. And so that was kind of interesting. But then to like make it all worse, we were, I called my uncle a few days later or whatever. And uh, he said that he'd called the funeral home and they were supposed to do a, uh, 
like graveside ceremony, but um, I wasn't going to be able to make that. So I called him to see if there had been any changes, and he said, yeah. Well, I called the, uh, the funeral home, and they said, yeah, we got your mom, and we already buried her. So she didn't have, we did like the remembrance with, without her there, and then they just, when she came in, they took her out and buried her, which was kind of messed up. But then, uh, like I said, this is the 1st of November, so about two months ago, or was it the end of August? something like that. I know that they did the funeral on the 16th, the 15th or 16th of set, September um, for my grandma Zelma. Uh, she had been getting sick and was having a whole bunch of issues and she finally passed away. But the big story for her is um, there were three times when the whole family got together and she made burritos. Well, every time that she made burritos, there was a tornado. So after the third time of her making burritos for the entire family and a tornado happened, we were like, yeah, that's never happening again. So that was the last time that she ever made burritos for everybody. Uh, about the other big thing is uh, when I was in high school, I would see her and talk to her almost every day. Uh, she worked at a gas station in town, and uh, they had a little pizza place there, and for breakfast, they would do like breadsticks and breakfast pizza and stuff like that, and normally every day I would go in and get breakfast there, and other than that, if it wasn't for that, I mean, if you leave and go home, you'll find out that it's, it's a nightmare in ways for you, because everybody wants you to come visit them which I understand you're not there long and everything but a lot of people don't consider that the road goes two ways so it's it's just you go home like from Germany you travel and you get home and you know it's like an eight ten hour long flight then another hour or two in a car to get home or even from like Augusta to, to Arkansas it's like an eight and a half nine hour drive you know, and so you get there, and then people are like, well, we want to come see, we want you to come see us, and I'm like, I got, I got to the point where I quit doing that, and it made my mom mad one time, because she's like, your grandma, Zelna, would really like to see you, she literally lived like a block down the street, and I said, you know, if she wants to see me at this point, the road goes two ways, they can get in the car and come down here just the same as I can get in the car to go there. But, you know, in my mind, I just drove like eight, nine hours to get there. So if they didn't want to spend the two, three minutes of drive down the street to see me, then I was fine with that. And that's kind of how I've always been with my family. I know it, it should be a crazy thing to say, but uh, the last time I saw my grandma live was we did a family reunion, my nanny, and we were talking about doing something else, and I never got the chance to go up there, and then uh, my grandma Zelna, I saw her the last time I went home, but like, I couldn't stand going in there. She smokes, and my aunt smokes, and then her husband smokes, and they're all just sitting in there smoking, and I mean, I used to smoke too a long time ago, but now I just, I can't handle it, and that's just kind of the way it is. And the bad part for, for you, Finn, is that I didn't get to go to my grandma Zelna's funeral and I'm 100% I'm fine with that and everything. Um, the reason behind that is, is that your grandma, uh, they found out that she's got a tumor in her brain and so you and your mom just went to germ or when the uh the funeral for my grandma zelna was it's the same time that um tickets were bought for you guys to go back to germany and so i was worried with your mom and everything about something bad happening and her not being there and her not being able to help so to me 
that was a lot more important than me going to my own grandma's funeral. But like I said, to me, it's not that big of a deal because I never felt that really important to a lot of people. And with stuff like that, I just, I don't think about it enough. I focus on what's in front of me at the time and what I need to do. And that's pretty much the way I operate is I, I see what's going on in front of me. I think about what I have to do at work or what was whatever. And it's like the next task, the next task. And so um, I was planning on going to the funeral and I was working out in my head the trip and everything like that. Uh, but then the, the diagnosis of your grandma came in. And to me, that was that was way more important. Um, you and your mom just got back from the trip to see her. And it was, it was horrible and I really don't want to get into that. And like the sad part about it is, is I'm seeing like, I hate it because I wish that it was better for you than it was for me that's all I can really say about it is I was hoping that you would have better relationships through the family than what I had growing up um, but I'm working on changing things and being better um, so we just had Halloween last night you went trick-or-treating and had fun and so you've been wanting to ride in the old Mustang all day and so I'm on my way home from work right now and so what we're going to do when I get home is we're going to go ride in the old Mustang because that will make you happy. I just want you to know I love you, Finn. Bye.